This week on Maker Update, dedicated hardware for your Keanu Reeves gift collection, sound reactive sabers, return of the trash panda, and machine learning in your pocket. Hey everybody, welcome back to another special Adafruit edition of Maker Update. I hope you're all having a great summer. The Adafruit team has been busy working on all kinds of fun projects to keep you busy. So let's start with my pick for the project of the month. Check out this collapsible light up sword by the Ruiz brothers. For the sake of our lawyer budget, let's call it a laser sword, all right? We've seen this collapsing design recently from 3D Printing World, but the Ruiz brothers mashed it up with their previous design, which adds motion reactive lights and sound effects. This way, not only does it crackle when you flip it out, but it also flashes and makes a great clashing sound when it knocks into things. The foundation of the project is an Adafruit Feather M4 Express board with a prop maker feather wing add-on board, a speaker, a super bright 3 watt RGB LED, and an 18650 rechargeable battery. There are 12 parts to 3D print, none of them need support, and the coolest thing is that the sword design by 3D Printing World prints out all as a single collapsible piece. Some quick news to throw out there, the annual Pi Ohio Python conference takes place on the weekend of July 27th. It's a free event and the keynote speaker is Katni Rambor. Also, August 8th is being celebrated as Circuit Python Day, probably because all those eights look pretty snake-like. There's an event being planned, but mark your calendars now. Time for more projects from the Adafruit team. John Park took the internet by storm this week with his Pi Gamer based Keanu Reeves gift player. The project is based on Lady Ada's Arcada animated gift display. With it, you load up gifts onto a micro SD card and you can advance through them with the thumbstick. More than anything, I'm just happy that John introduced me to the world of Keanu gifts. Do you remember the speak and spell? Spell? Laugh. Well, Phil Burgess has recreated the voice so that it can be triggered from an Adafruit Neo Trellis M4. The guide is a fun read with some interesting history around how the original speak and spell voice was created. Another John Park project that deserves to go viral is this guide on how he made a game called Trash Panda 2 for the Pi Gamer or Pi Badge hardware. In the game, cats and raccoons are going through your garbage and you have to scare them away with your flashlight to score points. John walks you through how he designed the game using Microsoft Make Code. You learn how to make tile arrays, create gravity, and even how to use the light sensor on the hardware because the game requires that you play in the dark for authenticity. I also really enjoyed this tilt-controlled marble maze by Dana Wall. It uses a Circuit Playground Express, two servos, and some pro cardboard crafting skills. The servos react to the position of the accelerometer on the board and adjust the angle of the playfield. From the Adafruit community, we have this great guide by Richard Albritton on how to build your own superhero power gauntlet inspired by a certain ferrous metal man. What's really cool about this build is that he programmed in some gesture controls so that it triggers a power up sound and light animation when you raise it up and a power down mode when you lower it. The project uses an Adafruit feather, a breakout accelerometer, an Adafruit sound effects board, speaker and amplifier. The guide includes links to the 3D printed glove. If you want this for Halloween, get on it now. And Lady Ada has a video up showing how she was able to get TensorFlow Lite running on the Pi Gamer SAMD51 microcontroller. With it, she was able to demonstrate some basic machine learning and voice recognition. The code is available on GitHub if you want to give it a try. Time for some tips and tools. The Ruiz brothers created a 3D printed gamepad design that fits over the Adafruit Pi badge. This gives you a thumbstick like the Pi Gamer and raises the buttons up. The case also gives you a nice finished look. Brent Rubel has a guide and code for adding a cursor to your CircuitPython project. This way you can select items on a screen using a joystick. It's a great solution for when a touchscreen doesn't make sense or costs too much. The Ruiz brothers also created this guide for making a 3D printed hand crank that you can use as an HID USB device for your computer. You can customize it to scroll through web pages, turn the volume up and down, whatever you want. It's a neat design and inexpensive to make. Seed Studio is now offering what might be their first feather format compatible board. It's a Grove Sensor Breakout Shield designed for Particles line of mesh boards which use the feather format. And for this week's product spotlight, you probably know by now that there's a new Raspberry Pi 4 out in the world. The best way to get one from Adafruit is to sign up for notifications for when stock becomes available. 
But one feature the Raspberry Pi still doesn't have is a real-time clock chip that can allow it to track time accurately even when the power is off. For Raspberry Pi projects that do data logging or work as clocks or alarms or servers, you'll want to pick up an Adafruit Pi RTC. This small add-on mounts directly on any Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins. There's no soldering. You just add your own coin cell battery and you've got a dedicated real-time clock that will keep time for five years or more. The Pi RTC comes in two flavors. The best and most recent is the Precise DS3231. It's $15 and uses an extremely accurate chip. For less critical applications, there's an older PCF8523 version that sells for just $6. You can find links for both and for the Raspberry Pi 4 down in the description. All right, and that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, or leave a comment. You can also get on the Maker Update email newsletter to get show notes emailed out to you automatically every week with a few bonus projects thrown in there. And a huge thanks to my patrons on Patreon and to Adafruit Industries for sponsoring this special monthly edition of Maker Update. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.